Greetings guys, this is Stokerev and today I am showing you a replay in the Tiger P, the tier 7 German heavy tank. And guys, oh my god, Tokerev is uploading a video throughout the week, what's going on? Well guys, I got a day off from school, so I thought I might as well upload a video. And I had a lot of replays that I could show off, so why not make another bomb it around video. And I had a good replay of a tank that I usually don't see that much on YouTube. The Tiger P. Well guys, the Germans have got a few Tiger variants of types. They've got the Tiger 1 on tier 7, which has not much armor at all. But the Tiger P has got a lot of armor. As you can see, these plates here are very well armored indeed. Over 200 millimeters of armor on the Tiger P. But the Tiger P, yeah gets a lot of weak points for that as well as you can see these corners on the top of the tank are a little bit angled but are only 80 millimeters thick so most tier 7 and 6 tanks will be able to penetrate those same for the lower plate the lower plate is really weak as well almost every tank that can penetrate this this thing is only 100 millimeters thick at the top of my head but my tiger p is mounted with a stock turret and it has the best gun though, this gun is the tier 8 gun, the, the stock gun of the Tiger 2. It's a good gun though, but it has a really long reload time. Alpha damage of 240, a penetration of 203, so the gun is pretty alright. But as you can see on the turret there's also a big weak point. And because I have the stock turret I have got 100 less health points. But what the Tiger P likes is showing off its armor without exposing its weak points too much. And that's what I'm going to show you in this replay because this corner is full of enemy tanks as you can see right here. There's a Tiger, a VK, a Tiger P and a T-37. So there is enough targets for the Tiger P to work with. And uh, with 203 penetration it is more than enough to penetrate most of these tanks. Only with the Tiger P I have to target those weak points that I just mentioned as well. And you will see me aiming at those weak points. You see lower plate even at that angle it's no problem to penetrate that because the lower plate is just that low yeah that lowly armored. Anyway I take a shot and I pull back and don't give the enemy a chance to shoot at my lower places or any other of my weak points. So that gives me the highest chance of survivability. Tiger peeks out and because his hull is so big I can put a shot into him. Pull back, he bounces. I take no damage in return. VK bounces, I peek out, put a shot in him and pull back. That's the way the Tiger P likes to develop. And because my armor is angled that well, this weak point here that I mentioned on the corner of the tank is almost not visible so the enemy doesn't have a chance to shoot at the weak point at here but if I go around the corner too much this weak point here on the side of my tank has got a really high chance of getting penetrated in so what I do I come around the corner and the enemy can't see that weak point there trying to hit the lower glazes but then the tiger shows his hull around the corner I put a shot into him and I'm already up to 1700 damage not a bad game so far. Tiger P shows his weak point. Don't have a shot, unfortunately. Tiger peeks out. He can't see me. I can already see him because his hole is that big. Put a shot at him and he pulls back. And we are just decimating these tanks here around the corner. And Tiger P doesn't cover off his weak point that well. And so I can put a shot into him. And you can see me looking really weird of where he penetrated me. And he got a lucky penetration through my gun metlet. But the penetration already happened, so there's no need to rage about it. So now I think I'm going to side scrape it. And oh god, a 87 gets spotted. That is a really dangerous tank who can pick me apart really quickly. Luckily, the 87 has got a really good weak point on top of the tank. So I have to target that weak point as well. But now I have to pull back because I am fiercely outnumbered and there's an E25 attacking my allies as well so I am on my own for a short amount of time against these three tanks. If these tanks want to win against me the only thing they have to do is rush me. They just have to come down this alleyway and just 
flank me and snipe me everywhere they can, but they don't do that. And that makes me able to pick them apart really slowly because of the really low DPM of the Tiger P. They're, they're still peeking. I am driving backwards and forwards to have the biggest chance of letting them miss me. I don't want to expose my weak points to the enemies. That's why I'm wiggling that much to avoid them aiming at my hit point, at my weak points. And now the 87 is finally dead. He was a far, by far, the most dangerous target of the enemy team on that position. Because he has a really good accuracy, he can snipe my weak points all day long. But what a great game so far. I've already done 3000 damage. And there is a Tiger P to get picked apart in front of me. So that is a really big tasty snack. And because we've killed all his friends, it's easy for me to finish him off. Anyway, now we are in a... Yeah not such a good situation because I don't have a very good crew in this tank and all the mobile tanks on the enemy team have survived the game and the Cromwell is a really good player but then I don't have the statistics turned on at the moment but keep in mind the Cromwell is a really good player and what I want to do now I don't want to give any of those tanks a chance to flank me because if they flank me I am pretty much dead this tank doesn't turn that quickly so what I want to do I want to come around the corner and kill them as quickly as I can I really have to make some kills here because I don't want any guns to stay in the game in my opinion I should have finished off the T37 there but I wasn't sure of where he was or if he was driving with the Cromwell together but what I should have done now this mistake cost me the game I put a shot into the Cromwell because he was by far the best player and I was so scared that he was going to kill me but now he flanks me and the T37 as well take me out what I should have done here is I should have killed the T37 first and that should have given me a far more bigger chance of killing the Cromwell as well but the Cromwell of course is a really quick fast mobile tank so it was really hard for me to win this game anyway but I should have finished off the T37 but Although, when I if it would have finished off the T-37, the Cromwell would have probably killed me. Or if I would have killed the Cromwell, the Type 64 would have killed me as well. But anyway, now that the T-29 gets finished off as well, let's take a look at the stats we achieved in this game. Although this was a loss, as you can see, I picked up a first class medal for a defeat. I got a Jewelist token and a Fire for Effect token. And I got the high caliber medal. I picked up 759 experience for a loss and 32,589 credits. So if you have a look at the team scores now, as you can see, I finished top on both teams on damage. Done. I finished top on my team with experience earned. And also a quick good shout out to the T29 on my team who also did a very good amount of damage in a tier 7 game. I fired 20 shots of which 19 hit and 60 penetrated giving us the 3618 damage done. I received 16 hits of which 7 only penetrated and 9 were non penetrations giving us the almost 2000 damage blocked by my armor. And I had to travel 1.3 kilometers to do so. In this game I collected 32,600 credits of which I got a 21,000 profit because I had to repair my vehicle and had to pay the shots that I fired in this game. Although this was a loss I think it was a really good game for a tier 7 heavy tank. I almost did 4,000 damage which is a really healthy amount of damage in a tier 7 game. Anyway I hope you liked this video. Give a thumbs up if you liked it because I did put a lot of time in making this video. Leave a comment if you want me to upload more of these bombing around videos. I really look forward to what you guys think or do you guys want more of those montage videos that I mostly upload. Anyway, I hope you have a really good week and I will see you next time.